All right, okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the fourth period where I discuss games that have happened in the NHL recently and some talking points, or maybe just some general talking points that do not relate to a game but are of note. So, we had an early matinee game today, the 16th of January 2021, between Boston and the New Jersey Devils. The game two, they had a game, was it opening night or yesterday? Um, I can't really recall, but anyway, this was game two. The first one was obviously won by Boston on the shootouts. And there's a nice little rivalry forming between the two teams. So, um, basically, I'll, I'll, I, th yeah, I think the best way to go about it right away is to uh, discuss the game a little and then go into the stuff of note, one of which will definitely uh, be around Jack Hughes as... Jack Hughes might actually be legit now. He might look like the player that New Jersey thought they were drafting when they drafted him over Kapokako and over Kabidak at number one a few years back. So, um, the Bruins really couldn't get much going in this game. Um, the Devils, though, can you what can you attribute it to? Well, obviously, you can attribute it to no David Pasnak. They lost Tori Krug, they lost that leadership at the back with Zdeno Chara. And I think Patrice Bergeron is a great captain and a great leader. But you need that leadership all throughout the team, not only at the forefront, but also at the back. And when you don't have Tukorask uh, in net and you have Halak, he's less vocal, I would imagine. And you leave Zdeno Chara out, you leave Tori Krug out. Yes, you have a good, you have, you still have a relatively good defensive core especially with Charlie McAvoy but he's not that leader maybe he will turn out to be but he certainly isn't yet and New Jersey will be a scary team you have to think the team that beat uh, Boston today is without Nico Heischer without Alexander Holtz it's a scary team it is like Ottawa it's a good team now it's a bit of a mixed bag but in a few years' time, those two teams, and, and there's obviously still some more, but those teams, especially New Jersey, is going to be scarily good. So, uh, as I said, Halak was in goal for Boston, and right away in the first period, Boston tries to take Wood out with a fight. He gets into the fight, they try to nullify that speed, but it would turn out to still be costly, as with 3.45 left in the period, Miles Wood redirects a Ty Smith shot. Hughes gets an assist again. That's three now in two games, or at that point in one game and one period. Three assists for Jack Hughes. And Jack Hughes looks like the centre that they were hoping he would be. But we'll go on to Jack Hughes later on. Anyway, the, in the second, nothing much happened. There was a power play for New Jersey, which somehow Brad Marshall got a lot of ice on. He, get, he gets a puck to Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron makes no mistake. Short-handed Boston gets a goal. And the way that they went short-handed is really weird because they did score a goal. That got called off for goaltender interference. Rightfully so. Bruce Cassidy, for some reason, challenges it. Obviously, the challenge is not overturned. So they go down a man. And I was thinking, well, this is the moment where they probably... New, where New Jersey probably goes and gets another goal and then put the game out of sight. But the exact opposite happened. And even without David Baston like there, even short-handed, Boston looks dangerous. Although, Boston really wasn't good. There weren't any long-sustained moments of pressure, of attack. There were a few patches of, of 20, 30, 40 seconds on attack. And on the power play... They looked quite dangerous, but nothing went their way. Just weird game for Boston. And yes, they need to adjust to life without Krug, Chara, and currently without Pasternak. But this is not a good sign if you are a Bruins fan that the two games against the New Jersey Devils, one of the easiest teams you would expect in the East Division, Went to overtime, one of which you lost with 1.0 seconds left. That that might be a concern, especially in a shortened season like we have now. And weirdly enough, weirdly enough, in the third, New Jersey actually looked like the team 
with momentum, the team that would likely score and the best chance game uh, game through Carl Palmieri on the breakaway. He fumbles it. It's an easy save for Yaroslav Halak. It's still 1-1. Halfway through the third. And the dirty sides of both teams actually came out with Charlie McAvoy uh, punching. I don't remember exactly who's punching a devil in, in the back of the head. And you would expect that from the Bruins. They've always, they've always had that edge to them. And you can't begrudge it that edge obviously if, if as a Leafs fan if the Leafs show that I'd love it so you can't begrudge the Bruins for it. It, it I hate it as an opponent uh, or as a neutral but as a fan rightfully so you you like it and this game this, this game was a very defensive game yet it could have had five goals on each side and and it could like it did go down to the wire to the last second, quite literally, on overtime with only two goals between them. And I am very curious to see how the next game between those two teams looks like, who takes it, the progression that those two teams will make, and the progression that the young core on the Devils will make. And that's what I want to talk about mostly. So, the core of the Devils is obviously very young. I've got Mackenzie Blackwood in goal in his sophomore year. You've still got a bit of experience with Travis J. Jack, with you've with Gal Palmieri. But Hughes and 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 then uh, I forget his name, Sh Sharangovic, who who scored with 1.7 seconds left. And then you've got Hishi, you've got Miles Wood, you've got Ty Smith, all those young guys coming through. They being given the opportunity, which is surprising. Well, is it actually I don't think it's very surprising if I think about it, because shortened season the Devils don't have a shot at the playoffs, probably. So why not give them, give give those players that experience? Why not say, well, get those fifty six games in, show us what you can do, and then we'll build on next season in a longer season with um, a thirty second team in the league. We we will so we know who to expose, so we know who not to expose, who to protect, and so on and so forth. That's very smart by the Devils, and, and they are a team, although they're not ready yet for the playoffs, they are a team that you can't discount. And if you do the, underestimate them, you never know. So, over time, obviously, Cole gets the puck, Miles Wood miscontrols it, he recovers it somewhat, chance here, chance there for both teams. And I was, as I was bracing for a shootout, and I was literally writing, this game is going down to the wire. On a beautiful fast pass from Severson, Sharangovic gets the puck on a breakaway. He makes no mistake. Halak, sh Halak should have probably had it. But then again, you can't have every single puck. And yeah, the, the progression that both teams are going to make will be fascinating to see. How does the Bruins learn to cope? How do the Bruins learn to cope without Zdeno Chara? How does Hughes continue his progression? Was this just two good games for him? Was it just a very good game for the rest of the young core? That remains to be seen. Obviously, Mackenzie Blackwood, I don't doubt his abilities for one moment. I don't doubt the abilities of Hughes or his potential, rather. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, this was it for the first video of the night on the Bruins versus the Devils. I thought I'd make this video so... I would have more time to talk about this one, so I would have more time to talk about the other ones. I thought this one was going to be shorter, obviously it's at 9 minutes currently, which is a bit long, so I apologise for that. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video, please consider subscribing to, subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you thought of the game, what you envision Jack Hughes' progression to be throughout the season. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I just want your honest opinion, and I will talk to you very soon.